Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to understand how to run the bot as a specific user. But before getting started, if you really like my videos, I request you to please subscribe to this channel. So sometimes what happens is, let's say you are trying to, you have created a bot which is going to pull the data from a particular object, let's say custom object, it's going to pull the data from that particular object and show it on, show it to the customer, right? Show it to the particular person who's trying to talk to that particular Einstein bot. But let's say that particular uh, Einstein bot does not have access to, access to get the records from that particular object. So for an example, let's say I have, I am running an Einstein bot, right? And what I did was I had created an, an object named as test. Okay, now Einstein bot does not have access to get the records from this object, but somehow you have to get it. Okay, somehow you have to go ahead and get the record from this test object and show it inside the Einstein bot. So in that case is what you have to do is just like flow. Okay, you can run it in the user context. So or or, a or a run it as a specific user. It, it can be system admin or it can be a specific user. You can run that flow. So uh, you can run that Einstein bot. So just like flow, if you have been to a flow, flow can ra be ran as a specific user, right? It can be it can run inside the system context or the user context itself. So in the same way, you can run your Einstein bot in a particular user context or as a specific user as well. So let's learn in, learn how to do that. So first, for that purpose, first you need to go to the Einstein bot over here. Okay, I had already created an Einstein bot. How to create an Einstein bot? I'll provide the link in the description. Once you go to the Einstein bot, just click. Uh, this was my Jarvis was my Einstein bot. Just click, go to the overview. So inside the overview, if you scroll a bit below, unless and until your uh, Einstein bot is not activated, first of all deactivate it. You won't else you won't be able to update it. First of all deactivate it. You whatever Einstein bot you have created. Once you deactivate, you can just go over here. That is bot user, right? Each bot has a user profile and settings determine what bot what bot can access. If your bot actions require additional licenses or features like field service, we suggest creating a custom user profile. So what you can do is basically you can create a completely separate user which is going to run as a bot. Okay, it's not going to use, uh, like the person who's going to use it, but bot is going to use it use that particular user so that bot will be able to access different kinds of uh, objects or specific uh, clouds, right? So instead of ba basic chatbot user, I'm going to use custom chatbot user. Inside custom chatbot user, if I see, as you can see, Salesforce in five minutes. Okay, you can run the per this particular bot as Salesforce in five minutes. Now Salesforce for in five minutes is nothing but an admin. He has access to everything and anything. Now your bot, will be able to access everything and anything without any issues. So this is how you can run your bot as a specific user. Along with that, you if you want to store the conversation data inside the log entries, right? So for an example, if customer is trying to interact from one end to another, let's say if you're trying to talk to the customer and customer talks back, right? So if you along you want to uh, you want to do some kind of uh, okay like what we can say that you want to do some kind of debugging while debugging you also want to see the conversation data in that case you can just turn on this and now conversation data will be available to you while debugging but in short this is how you can run your bot in a specific user as a specific user if you found this video helpful i request you to please subscribe to this channel